So what's going on, guys? Jeff Williams here. If you're first time to the channel, I'll say welcome. If you've been here before, I'm going to say welcome back. So, I'm about 451 miles on this brand new Harley Davidson CVO Rogue Glide ST. Um, all those miles were mine. It had just under a mile when I got it. Very, very happy with this. It was the first 400 miles, 450 miles. It's been fantastic. I did go out on my, my the very first day. Um, if you saw the short, when I was coming home with the bike, it just so happened that my wife was sitting out front as I was pulling up. So she just started recording me pulling up with the new motorcycle. So that was an authentic moment, not something created of me coming home with that bike that day. I was very happy. It just so happened that it happened to be the song that was playing at that moment. I got to try out all the modes on my way coming home from Jamestown. That night when I went back out, uh, I did get caught in the rain. So it's already been out here in the rain once. I did use the rain mode. Um, can I say I felt it being dumped down? I, I'd say maybe, maybe the throttle wasn't as, as, as snappy as it might be. Um, I appreciate the mood, the mode of being there so that uh, I didn't have to really, you know, not that I don't have to think as much, but knowing having I have that assistance, i put it like that. So I do appreciate that a lot. So after that, I pretty much just been going out and doing like kind of local runs around the area, try to get those break in miles. I have not beat on this engine at all. But I've been um, riding each one of the gears, maybe to about right there, 4,000 RPM, where I know I could shift it a lot sooner than that. Uh, so if you want to say that's riding it kind of hard, kind of aggressive, I don't think so. I've been very thrilled with the bike. It does. It just wants to run. I, I really have only really used street mode this whole time. I really haven't gotten into any of the any of the other modes. I just want to get comfortable with the bike with this whole break in time. And I figured I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use track mode at all while I'm in break in break in. I did try out sport mode just to see, maybe for maybe two, three, four miles, that was it. Got back out of it, got back into regular road mode. But yeah, she's been um she's been running great. I have I've had no issues. I've recently put on the tab performance um, mufflers, flip on mufflers with the zombie baffles. Um, absolutely love that. And then I added these heat deflectors. <laughs> um, you, you did a couple days ago as well. So there's um, see most of that ride right there as I was talking, I was between 58 and 60 miles an hour. And I'm hoping that you can hear me fine. I was not yelling again. I was talking at a normal pace. I want to give you, you know, maybe a 70 or 80. But I really haven't had a good stretch of road to open this up just yet. Not the stretch of road like I want. This was, you know, typically I, I would do it right here, but I see the car up in front. I want to make it so it's not any risk to free or myself or the driver of that car. 50, but here's an opportunity. All right, that's 90 right there. 92, let's see if you can just hear me regularly there. Back down to 75, 70, 66, 65. And there we are. So yeah, that was a nice little punch. That was the most I've... You guys have now been with me for the biggest punch I've given this bike <laughs> since I've owned it. And I, you know, fifth gear, it still had more to go. And um, yeah, it was already at 90, so. That felt good. <laughs> it freeze and it sounds great, so that's awesome. Yeah, this bike is 
you know, I, I gotta say, it, it's like it's like my CBR and my Victory Hammer got together and said, you know, let's give them both of what we have to offer. My CBR says, yeah, I got the speed, man. I got the speed, and the Victory Hammer says, I got the style. And together, Harley Davidson put together this beast, and I love it. Uh, normally, when I get inside this helmet, normally I'm not even inside of the helmet, but this is this is a real big throwback. The only time I'd really wear this a uh, full face helmet is when I was jumping on the CBR, and me jumping on the CBR was very rare because I was always jumping on the, on the Harley. Um, I did enjoy getting back out on the Victory Hammer. That is a great ride. I love the look of that bike as well. Uh, the thing with the Victory Hammer, it just doesn't have storage. Um, there's no storage. And so if you want to bring anything, you got to be able to put it in your pocket or put it in a backpack. Those are your options. Um, so I, I like that bike for, you know, we're just going to shoot around town. This is fantastic. Well, that's what this bike can do too. And it's, it's because it is lightweight, it's pretty much, it's, it's a little heavier than the Victory Hammer, which you got to expect to have saddlebags to begin with. Um, so it's a little bit, it's got a whole front fairing. And those things right there add a lot of weight as compared to the Victory Hammer, which is just a headlight sitting there and frame and engine. That's it, you know, a tire. So yeah, this is more, this is heavier, but it's very nimble still. I mean, it's, this, this bike is very nimble. I've noticed that taking corners, I haven't been real aggressive with them yet. I'm thinking that you can even still see the little nubbies on the tires right now. This bike, I mean, I, and I understand why everything the way it is. This is made for, you know, they took the race track bike and brought it to the regular consumer. Like they, they don't need those speakers up front. That's just extra weight to them. So that's that's a touch to be a CVO. It's like, hey, we're going to put our finest stereo system. And I don't know if you can really see it, but it has three speakers and it. it's got the, the real one bigger one and then there's two smaller ones on the inside as well. Um, I think they call them three ways, but don't quote me on that. I'm, I'm not, I know good audio when I hear it. I just don't know enough about it. Oh, gotta go. Breeze feeling froggy. With this bike, I will 99.99% of the time have this full face helmet on. Uh, there's no windscreen, really. There's nothing there in front of me. All the air blockage is because of this, this big fairing and these couple little vents on the side. That's what's kind of keeping the air off of me. This is this is just all air coming straight in, and there's, it's not really air hitting me perfectly because I mean honestly right here I don't feel any air I feel it right here so right around where my head would be is where I, I would start to feel it um, but any bugs that come through here or rocks or debris off the road uh, my other one has a windshield that's a lot higher and it's going to hit the windshield before it gets to me not with this bike man I've, I got hit with a couple of stones and one big hard shell beetle on the face mask and I was really really happy that I had a full face mask on at that moment. Hey thanks for um thanks for subscribing. Hey guys I'm getting up there close to one thousand. Actually I'm you know I'm still I'm still in the seven hundreds trying to get to eight hundred but my my big focus is one thousand. So if this has been a video that you found entertaining, uh look through another playlist. There's it, it tell you really the, the style of videos that I do. Um, I encourage you to, to take a look and see if there's anything that, you know, inspires you. If you find something, you know, go ahead and subscribe. I love it. I'd love to have you help me get to my 1,000 subscribers. I really could use your help. I want to hear you say, I got to be there, man. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, I got to be there, man. Yeah, right. I love it. <laughs>